I'm going to say, how do you get people to trust you? By background, by experience, by, you know, again, you show you can do it. You build it up piece by piece by piece. Yeah, but they're taking a leap of faith by putting themselves in your hands, right? You are controlling their image to a certain extent at that point. You know, you have to have some crossover moments in your career. You have to have some moments where you get from not having ever shot anything to shooting something, from shooting something to shooting something significant, from shooting something to significant to shooting something just utterly groundbreaking. And again, that's about setting up affiliations and opportunities with the right people and getting them to trust you and getting them to be able to go out on a limb for you. It's just like last year. I hadn't directed and I hadn't aspired to direct. And yet, somehow, it, you know, this had built up such that I was offered two separate things to direct because people had become to, come to believe in me. They had come to see what I could do as a cinematographer. And so they thought, you know, I bet this guy would be a good director on this project. And it's really, I think it's just a matter of proving yourself and establishing yourself. You know, once you have a few, it, it is important as a cinematographer to get recognizable names on your work. Because no matter how good it looks, unless you have recognizable names, Right. It's really hard to get noticed, and I think that that's the same thing too. As as a musician, you know, I think back um, a few years ago when Dave Matthews sang lead on a Blue Man Group song, and they shot a video and it got heavy rotation. You know, I think people had heard of Blue Man Group, but I think a hell of a lot more people heard mm -hmm. of Blue Man Group after Dave Matthews sang with them. Mm -hmm. You know, so there's a lot about affiliation. There's a lot about you know publicity. There's a lot about collaborating. And, and again, being aware of the fact that you are your own marketing campaign and, and being very careful of it, you know, being very protective of it, being very, like I said, uh, and I'll reiterate, sometimes the jobs you turn down are as important as the ones you take. It takes a lot of courage to turn down a job when you're hungry, right? It does, but you also have to realize that you are an investor. You know, you're not necessarily investing in a stock market, but you're investing in yourself. And, you know, there's no guarantees in the stock market. You could play the penny stocks or you could play NASDAQ. You could buy commodities. And you could be a clever investor and still lose money. And, and one of the things that, that, that's really important to remember, and, I, and, and by the way, I'll say I also do a lot of my own hunting for work. I'll, I'll look at Craigslist. You know, I'll look all over the place. You, I'm, I'm not too... You know, I'm not too uh, full of myself to look anywhere, you know. And that's another thing is just don't ever get full of yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, be humble and modest enough to realize that opportunities can come from anywhere. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, it's just, it's just really important to, uh, to stay connected to, to those types of things and to be aware of how every decision affects you.